The 10 Most Scandalous and Shocking Events in Marilyn Monroe's Life Marilyn Monroe's life was far from ordinary. Behind the glamour and Hollywood stardom, Monroe's life was marked by unexpected and shocking moments that kept the public intrigued. From secret pregnancies to scandalous relationships, Monroe's choices often defied societal norms, making her one of the most controversial figures of her time. Here are 10 of the most unusual and scandalous events from Monroe's life. Fact number 1. Secret Pregnancies and Miscarriages Marilyn Monroe's deep desire to become a mother was met with heartbreak as she experienced multiple miscarriages during her marriage to playwright Arthur Miller, whom she married in 1956. The most notable pregnancy losses occurred in 1956, 1957, and again in 1958. In 1956, Monroe suffered a miscarriage early in her pregnancy, and in 1957, she experienced an ectopic pregnancy, a dangerous condition where the fertilized egg implants outside the uterus. This led to a serious operation. In 1958, during the filming of Some Like It Hot, Monroe suffered another miscarriage, which forced her to take a break from the production. These personal tragedies were widely speculated upon, and Monroe reportedly fell into deep depression, exacerbating her dependency on alcohol and barbiturates. Monroe's inability to carry a pregnancy to term added emotional strain to her already fragile mental health, leading to further turmoil in her marriage to Miller. Number 2. Affair with Eve Montand. Monroe's affair with French actor Eve Montand during the filming of Let's Make Love, 1960, scandalized Hollywood, especially because both were married, Monroe to Arthur Miller and Montand to French actress Simone Cineret. Montand and Monroe had undeniable on-screen chemistry, which quickly translated into an off-screen romance. Rumors of the affair intensified the already public breakdown of Monroe's marriage to Miller, who was aware of the infidelity. Although the affair was brief and, according to Montand, lacked any real emotional attachment, it became fodder for Hollywood gossip. Montand later said of the relationship, she was beautiful, but she was not well. The affair played a significant role in the collapse of Monroe's marriage, which ended in divorce in January 1961. Number 3. The Nude Calendar That Shocked the World. In 1949, a struggling Marilyn Monroe posed nude for photographer Tom Kelly. At the time, she was relatively unknown and in desperate need of money, receiving only $50 for the photoshoot. These images were originally intended for a limited edition calendar, but in 1952, when Monroe's star began to rise, the photos resurfaced, causing a major scandal. Monroe initially denied it was her in the pictures, but soon admitted the truth, explaining, I had to eat. I was broke. Hugh Hefner purchased the rights to the photos for $500 and featured them in the inaugural issue of Playboy in 1953. Far from damaging her career, Monroe's openness about the calendar shoot solidified her image as a bold, unapologetic sex symbol, marking the beginning of her iconic status in popular culture. Number 4. Her Obsession with President Lincoln Monroe had a peculiar fascination with President Abraham Lincoln, who she saw as a paternal figure she never had. She reportedly kept a framed photo of Lincoln in her home and read extensively about him. In one of her personal notebooks, Monroe wrote, I love him, not because he was president, but because he was a man who stood for something greater than himself. Her interest in Lincoln stemmed from her turbulent childhood, marked by the absence of a father figure. Monroe was abandoned by her own father and grew up in foster homes and orphanages, which made Lincoln's life story resonate with her on a deeply personal level. This unusual aspect of her personality highlights a lesser-known, more intellectual side of the Hollywood icon. Number 5. Personal Doctor's Role in Overmedication Dr. Ralph Greenson, Monroe's psychiatrist, played a critical role in her life during her final years. He began treating her in 1960 and became one of her closest confidants, but his methods have since been called into question. Greenson prescribed Monroe a heavy regimen of sedatives and barbiturates, which worsened her dependency on medication. It's rumored that Greenson's involvement in Monroe's life went beyond the professional, as he would invite her to stay at his home and reportedly exerted great control over her personal decisions. Monroe's reliance on these medications led to erratic behavior, 
and Greenson's actions have been scrutinized in the context of her tragic death. Some have speculated that his overprescription of drugs may have been a contributing factor to her fatal overdose in 1962. Number 6. Strange Encounters with the Kennedys. Perhaps the most infamous rumors surrounding Marilyn Monroe was her alleged affair with President John F. Kennedy and later with his brother, Robert Kennedy. While no concrete evidence confirms these affairs, Monroe's association with the Kennedy family has been the subject of intense speculation. Her sultry performance of Happy Birthday, Mr. President at JFK's birthday gala on May 19, 1962, added fuel to the fire. Monroe's connection to the Kennedys took a darker turn with rumors that she was silenced after revealing sensitive information about the brothers. The circumstances surrounding her death just months later have led many to believe that her involvement with the Kennedys played a role. Though these theories remain unproven, Monroe's relationship with the Kennedy brothers continues to be one of Hollywood's greatest unsolved mysteries. Number 7. Mental Health Struggles Leading to Institutionalization In 1961, after her divorce from Arthur Miller, Monroe voluntarily checked into a psychiatric facility in New York for rest and treatment. However, what began as a voluntary stay at the Payne Whitney Clinic turned into a terrifying ordeal when Monroe was transferred to a psychiatric ward and confined against her will. According to her own accounts, Monroe was kept in a padded cell and treated like a severely disturbed patient. She wrote to her psychiatrist, Dr. Marianne Chris, saying, I felt I was in some kind of prison for a crime I hadn't committed. It was Joe DiMaggio, Monroe's ex-husband, who eventually intervened to have her released. The traumatic experience left a lasting impact on Monroe and deepened her sense of vulnerability and isolation. Number 8. Bizarre Method Acting Rituals Monroe's dedication to method acting often bordered on the extreme. After joining Lee Strasberg's Actors Studio in New York in 1955, she became obsessed with perfecting her craft. This involved isolating herself from friends and colleagues and fully immersing herself in her roles. During the filming of Some Like It Hot, 1959, her obsession with delivering a flawless performance led her to demand over 40 takes of a simple line, where's that bourbon? Monroe's erratic behavior on set tested the patience of her co-stars and director Billy Wilder, who later said, she was a pain in the neck, but she was magic. Monroe's quest for perfection in her acting was both her greatest strength and her biggest downfall, as it contributed to her onset unreliability and strained her professional relationships. Number 9. Her involvement with the Communist Party. Monroe's third husband, Arthur Miller, was under investigation by the House Un American Activities Committee, WAC, during the 1950s, which led to suspicions about Monroe's own political leanings. Miller, a well known leftist intellectual, refused to cooperate with WAC further intensifying public scrutiny of their marriage. Monroe stood by Miller's side during his legal troubles, famously saying, I believe in everything he believes in. Though there is no concrete evidence that Monroe was ever involved in communist activities, her association with Miller during the height of the Red Scare created a scandal. Her political affiliations, albeit vague, added another layer of controversy to her already complex public image. Number 10. Final Call, The Strange Circumstances of Her Death The events surrounding Marilyn Monroe's death on August 5, 1962, remain one of the most perplexing mysteries in Hollywood history. Officially, Monroe died from an overdose of barbiturates, but the timeline of events and missing key details have led to numerous conspiracy theories. Her housekeeper, Eunice Murray, claimed to have found Monroe's lifeless body late in the evening, but inconsistencies in her story and the fact that the house had been cleaned before the police arrived have fueled suspicions. Some believe that Monroe was murdered due to her involvement with the Kennedys or because of her knowledge of sensitive political secrets. Despite numerous investigations, the exact circumstances of her death remain unclear, solidifying her legacy as a tragic and enigmatic figure in popular culture. <laughs>